Welcome to the 38th video of Bangkok Unmasked, the YouTube channel that helps you get the most out of your visit to Bangkok City. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to discuss Bangkok weather and the best time to visit Bangkok. Note, what I'm going to say obviously applies to Thailand weather in general and the best time to visit Thailand. Let's get started. Bangkok has a tropical climate with high humidity and often stifling hot temperatures. The city's weather is heavily influenced by the South Asian monsoon system. To give you an idea of how hot it is in Bangkok, my first memory of Thailand in May 1999 is leaving the air conditioning of Don Muang Airport to find a place to have a cigarette. While I was enjoying my cigarette, after 12 hours on a plane, it was so hot that I was seriously considering walking straight back into the airport and catching the next plane back home. I had never experienced tropical heat before, and it really is no joke. The year is divided into three seasons. Hot season from March to June, rainy season from July to October, and cool season from November to February. The weather is generally pretty predictable during the three seasons, but it's a good idea to check the weather forecast for rain. Many Thai have joked to me that Thailand has three seasons, hot, very hot, and hot and wet. They're pretty much bang on. According to the World Meteorological Organization, Bangkok is the world's hottest city. The annual mean air temperature is around 28 Celsius. Obviously the highs are not nearly as hot as somewhere like Death Valley in California, which uh, has recorded 57 Celsius. But the mean temperature is higher than Death Valley because it never gets anything approaching as cold in the evenings, like it does in all deserts. Death Valley has recorded minus nine Celsius, which will never happen in Bangkok. Four years ago, there was a lot of press on Bangkok's coldest morning in 30 years. It was 15.6 Celsius, not really cold by British, American and Canadian standards. Generally, air temperatures in Bangkok are somewhere around the mid-twenties during winter and the thirties during summer. Rainfall varies greatly during the year, with between 180 millimetres to 220 millimetres of rain during the summer and the beginning of autumn, and only 10 millimetres of rain during the winter months. One major problem that Bangkok faces is that it lies only six foot above sea level. During prolonged periods of rain, the city can experience severe flooding when the rivers and canals overflow. Let's take a more detailed look at the three seasons. Number one, the best time to visit Bangkok, cool season. The most popular time for tourists to visit Bangkok is between November and February, also known as cool season. The temperatures are still pretty hot, but somewhat less stifling than the rest of the year. The northeast monsoon blows cool, dry air across the city, which makes the climate feel much more comfortable than the other two seasons. Average temperatures are around 26 to 28 Celsius. Highs are around 33 Celsius. That said, temperatures do drop to their lows in the evening, which are usually around 21 Celsius. December is generally the coolest month, and I personally think that it's the best month to visit Bangkok. There are occasional showers, which provide relief from the heat. However, cool season is generally the driest of the three seasons. Note. December, January and February are the driest months of the year, with just 10 millimetres of rainfall and two wet days per month. In these months, you should see pretty much only clear blue skies and plenty of sunshine, with an average of eight or nine hours of sunshine every day. If you want to explore the city by foot and not feel like you're getting cooked by the Bangkok weather, cool season is definitely the time to do it. Number two, hot season. You're gonna need aircon 24-7. Bangkok experiences hot season between March and June. This is when temperatures peak. Average temperatures regularly hit 31 Celsius in April, the hottest month of the year, while high temperatures can reach a sweltering 35 Celsius. Temperatures never drop below 25 Celsius at this time of year. This makes sleeping at night without aircon quite out of the question for me. The hot season is generally dry, but Bangkok does experience some wet weather in particular storms towards the end of the season. From just 50 millimetres in March, May sees 180 millimetres of rainfall and 17 wet days on average. These bouts of rainfall do bring some relief from the high heat, so they're not unwelcome. That said, after a heavy rainstorm, the humidity spikes, so it can make you feel like you're in a sauna. If you're visiting Bangkok in hot season, 
it's advisable to pack light clothing and make sure the way you stay has air conditioning. Because of the excruciating temperatures during April's Bangkok weather, the city has an annual three-day water fight, which takes place between the 13th to the 15th of April for Thai New Year. Known locally as Songkran, if you want to stay cool by getting drenched in water, this is the time to visit Bangkok. Number three, rainy season. Epic, sometimes apocalyptic rainstorms. Bangkok's rainy season begins with the arrival of the southwest monsoon. Arriving in July and lasting until October, temperatures fall slightly to an average of between 29 Celsius and 30 Celsius, and highs of 33 Celsius. September is the month when the most rain takes place, with 220 millimetres and 22 wet days on average. The rain showers can be anywhere from very light rain to torrential showers. Despite rainy season occurring during summer, there's still plenty of sunshine to enjoy between five and six hours a day. The rain normally falls in the afternoon in Bangkok, but you have to be prepared for days when the city is washed with rain for the entire day. Rainy season for the tourist industry is known as low season. It's the least popular time for tourists to visit. However, this means that many hotels offer discounts on accommodation, so you can get a great deal at this time of year. If you're looking for a beach holiday, rainy season probably isn't an ideal time to visit. However, if you're visiting Bangkok, there are plenty of indoor attractions where you can have fun and shelter from the rain. What follows are a few things to be mindful of during rainy season in Bangkok. Number one, Bangkok traffic is terrible at the best of times, but it gets exponentially worse as soon as the first trickle of rain starts. Good luck finding a taxi. Number two, it floods very easily in many parts of Bangkok. Bangkokians rolling up their trousers, taking their shoes off, and wading through the flood water is not an uncommon sight. Number three, the rain can bring out wildlife that you'll probably not want to see, including mosquitoes, snakes, and rats. Be vigilant. As you can see on the top of the screen, this is a snake that I saw when my wife parked her car, and this is in central Bangkok. Anyway, that's it for this video. Expect a new video next week. For all you techies out there, this video was shot on a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and edited using HitFilm Express. To check out details on arranging a bespoke Bangkok tour with experienced tour guides and luxury private transport, please click on the link in this video's description section. Finally, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel through the button below. Also, I'd like to hear from you if you have any questions on Bangkok weather or the best time to visit Bangkok. Please do reach out to me in the comments section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.